Summer is a busy time on the island of Sodor. Choo Choo the Gordon, Choo Choo the Douglas, vacationers have, so much, to have so much to see and do. They were trip to the seaside. Balloon rides in the countries. And a brass band playing in the park. One morning, James was in a hurry. He didn't even stop to say hello to Emily and Stephanie. Thomas was pleased to see James. What's up? Your smile is brought us your smoke box. I'm on my way to pick up the brass band, said James. The concert is tomorrow night. Don't crack your smoke box, teased Thomas. Choo choo, said James. James couldn't wait to see the brass band play their wonderful music. He was so excited meeting the brass band that he didn't notice the giant king. It was unloading a huge ship's boiler. Suddenly, the coin on the boiler went out. James, right off the track. Cranky have been watching. You useless little engines are always in the way. Poor James. So Top and Pat came to the him and me. We will take you to the fitness yard, and Bertie will have to be the brass band instead of you. James was sad. That night, the raging storm rolled in. Choo choo said, Pug, the fitness were good night trying to mend James. The rain held it down. Now James felt sad and very damp. Morning came as the top of the house arrived. Please, sir, said James. The fitters will be in the Not in the soon night. The band can't wait. I'm sorry, James. Bertie will take the to the concert. James felt worse than ever. Bertie collected the brass band and set off immediately. He was along the country road. But there was trouble ahead. Last night's storm had flooded the road. Bertie's driver decided to take a shortcut. But it was very muddy. Bertie's wheels did not work that hard. They slid. They he slid. They slipped. They slipped. Unstuck. He groaned. Oh, that's a birdie. Birdie revved his engine, but his wheels spun round and round. He couldn't budge. The brass band were worried. We mustn't be late for our concert. Tune up your tubas, said the band. We'll call for help. By now, James was mended and hooked up to his coaches. I can hear music, I can hear music said his driver. That's not music, said James. That's an alarm. And they raced off to the rescue. The musicians were delighted to see James, their old friend. So was Birdie. I will get you to the concert in time, James cried. Thank you, said the, the bandsman. Choo choo, said James. Next night, the concert was a gracious check. Everyone loved the music. Especially James.